office in Budapest. Imagine winning the world title, then starting all over again with a different partner. Up next, a visit with the brand new Maya and Evgeny. You are the most talked about dance team in skating today. How did it all happen? Um, when we skate Tom Collins tour and middle of tour, Evgeny uh, come, come to me and we have one conversation and he asked me, Maya, uh, I know you have a problem and maybe we can try to skate together. And I think in just like a couple seconds and I answer right away, yes, why not? What did you say to Maya? Like, what were the real words that you said to her when you asked her to skate with you? I was kind of uh, uh, very nervous, and I, if she say no, because I'm ready, I was like out of Pasha. I, I cannot stand anymore. And you know, I just want to tell you that the people who saw us how we work before Olympics, they just everybody came to me and said, "How can you stand this? It's crazy. You're going to Saiho House soon." Uh, right before Olympic Games, she started to jumps, start doing jumps. I said, Pasha, what are you doing? Olympic Games in three weeks. What are you doing? And she tried to land a triple salho. So of course she fell and she almost broke the wrist. And if you can see the tape, uh, if you will see the tape from Olympic Games, our free program, she skated with bandage, you know, all right over the wrist. She has so much pain in it. She cannot do any lifts. She said, don't grab me by the wrist. So. And I realized, you know, this lady going out of her mind. I said, but look, guys, I have to close my eyes on this problem. I, had, I see one picture. It's a gold medal. So now it's my pocket. I'm happy with that. But then uh, I came to Maya and said, let's talk. <laughs> and did you know what you were going to reply, how you were going to respond? If, if this happened, if Evgeny started to talk to me, Maya, what you will tell him? And I'm just like so confused, but you know, I have an answer really, really quick. And right now I'm like so happy and I want to keep this, uh, you know, life because it's my, and I changed my life, completely changed my life. And I am so happy with this. And right now I'm mm, more happy because you know, my, I can talk to my Other partner. Me? Yeah. <laughs> I can talk to my partner and I'm recognized, you know, I'm just like something because all the time my old partner tell me I'm zero, I'm nothing and he all the time tell me I'm nothing and all title what we what we have with uh, Julien and it's just because of him. I'm like so bad partner and right now I recognize I'm something and I want to, you know, show uh, for everybody, you know, I'm something. We had a kind of s similar situation uh, with my because uh, her partner told her all the time, you're nothing, you're not good enough. So I have to hear this all the time by Pasha. You're not good enough. Everything we want because of me. You're like a, just a hanger for a nice dress. So thank you very much. You must have felt invisible. Yeah, I'm invisible, yeah. She's scared alone. I watch the two of you out there, and I see such quality and such class. And Evgeny, I have to say this, I hope you're not offended, but when I watched you with Pasha, I always watched her because she demanded the attention. Now I get a chance to really see what kind of a great skater you are. Now I'm appearing. I'm not invisible anymore. No. Not so we make it, we make it as a team. <laughs> there was a moment at the Champions Final in Munich last year where in a press conference, Pasha's aunt all of a sudden appeared. Tell me about that. We kind of pick up the not, one, not good thing with Pasha. Pick up that thing like we kind of have a kind of scandal image. and. Uh, I don't want to be involved in that, but you know, when your team and your partner are doing some not very nice things and wrong things, it's affect you. So that time at the press conference, uh, Pasha's aunt came to the press conference and started asking uh, the questions for uh, uh, Canadian couple, born in Kratz, uh, and really tried to insult them. I cannot just explain how 
bad I felt. And I said immediately to Pasha, Pasha, do something. Try to like make her disappear because she ruined our image, what she's doing. And instead that, Pasha said, you know, I don't know how she came here. I haven't seen her for a long time and somehow she came here, but she ever passes and everything given by Pasha. So that story make me all the time feel so bad because all the scandals she brought in in our business, you cannot avoid it. It's effect, effect, really affect the couple, Grishuk and Platov, not just Pasha. So, and I, I was always in kind of, you know, the bad situation that i involved in that, but I'm not. You cannot, you know, you cannot go and tell people, I have nothing to deal with that. Evgeny, like, forgive me. I promise you, you don't will have this problem with me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> If Maya and Evgeny continue their success this weekend in Japan,